There's a new type of black hole, and it's in the Milky Way. New evidence has been found backing the existence of a mid-sized black hole, which has long theorized to be the middle ground between single star black holes and supermassive ones found in galaxy centers. Astronomers in Japan discovered a peculiar gas cloud near the center of the Milky Way that contained gas that moved at vastly different velocities. This, along with faint radio waves coming from the center of the cloud, suggests the presence of a black hole a hundred thousand times the mass of our Sun. The radio signals detected from the cloud are similar to those produced by Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. The Japanese team hypothesized that the mid-sized or intermediate mass black hole was formed from the core of a dwarf galaxy that had previously been absorbed into the Milky Way. Scientists have long believed that giant black holes grow in part from the merger of small ones. So the discovery is especially significant, since it's the clearest evidence yet of a black hole mass in between the two size extremes. Here are more fascinating things lurking in the final frontier. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take 6, 9, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. New image of Saturn shows rings bending. NASA has revealed that the most recent images obtained by the Cassini spacecraft shows Saturn's rings slightly bending around the planet. But this is just an optical illusion. Researchers have learned through the Cassini mission to the planet that Saturn's rings are made of microscopic particles which brighten significantly when the sun is almost directly behind them. A lot of the light reflected off the rings are absorbed by the planet's atmosphere. When the rest of the light passes through, the atmosphere acts like a lens and bends the light, thus making it look like Saturn's rings are melting. Pretty cool, but it's all just an illusion. Potential alien megastructure isn't the Death Star we were hoping for. So after weeks of speculation that maybe, just maybe, the human race may have discovered an alien megastructure built by a super advanced extraterrestrial civilization, it turns out that the anomaly is probably just a bunch of ice and dust, says NASA. Damn it, federally funded scientific research, when will you make me a lightsaber? So no, it looks like it's not the Death Star we were hoping for. An anomaly around the star KIC 8462852 that scientists earlier this year posited may be evidence of an alien megastructure is likely to be a swarm of comets, new research suggests. NASA used the Spitzer Space Telescope to observe data from the star in infrared light to test for other possibilities of what the debris might be. NASA says that if planetary impact or an asteroid collision was the cause of the debris, there would have been excess infrared light surrounding the star. Spitzer found none. While NASA doesn't rule out the megastructure theory, it gives more weight to the notion that comets of varying shapes and sizes are what caused the anomaly initially observed. So is that it? Will Yoda and Boba Fett not be joining us for the premiere of The Force Awakens? Are we really all alone? Sound off in the comments and let us know. Water found in atmosphere of alien planet. 
NASA has found water in the atmosphere of an exoplanet more than 430 light years away from Earth. The primitive atmosphere of Neptune-like planet Hat P26b is made almost entirely of helium and hydrogen. NASA scientists also detected water in the planet's atmosphere, although it is not a water world. Hat P26b tightly orbits a star some 437 light years away from Earth. When the planet passes in front of the star, scientists are able to look at the starlight that passes through the planet's atmosphere to analyze the atmosphere's chemical composition. According to NASA, the findings show there is surprising diversity in the atmosphere of planets outside of our solar system. Scientists may have found Planet 10. U.S. scientists have found evidence supporting the unseen Planet 10, which is much closer than the previously reported Planet 9, a planet that has not yet fully been proven to exist. The Kuiper Belt is a disk-shaped region in outer space that contains icy bodies, space rocks, and dwarf planets such as Pluto. It is understood that Kuiper Belt objects orbit the Sun with an orbital tilt, but those some 50 astronomical units away from the Sun should not. However, researchers have discovered that a group of Kuiper Belt objects located between 50 to 80 astronomical units from the Sun are tilted away from the invariable plane by 8 degrees, suggesting a large object with sufficient gravitational influence is causing this warp. Experts believe the unseen object is possibly as massive as Mars and is roughly 60 astronomical units from the Sun on an orbit tilted by 8 degrees to the average plane of known planets. Planet 10 is theoretically much closer to Earth than Planet 9, the hypothetical planet discovered in 2016. Planet 9 is predicted to be the equivalent of about 10 Earth masses and located between 500 to 700 astronomical units from the Sun.